Myself, I was born in the countryside. Mm. And my parents, they are farmers. And I learned, I learned from there mm. to, to grow plants. I got a passion on plants. I said to myself, no, when I grow up, I want to improve uh, the farmers from my, my, my parents. My name is Bent Philippi. Now we are at the Farmer Association in Muamba. In this place, it's a farmer school where we do, do basically two things. We demonstrate technology for horticultural crops growth production and also we do, we do some research. The main goal of this research was to, to understand the epidemiology of a tomato leaf curl uh, virus. It's a new disease in Mozambique. If the plant is infected in its early stage, the reduction of the yield is very, very high. It can even reach at 100%. The economic uh, effect is the reduction of the yield, very high economic impacts. Yeah, in the first stage we lose so much. Yeah, we, we, we were planting something like 10 hectares, harvest only two. But at the moment, the things are better. Now we, we harvest the, uh, the whole 10 hectares. Yes, uh, the, stu the students are coming from the university and other technical schools. They are learning, they are learning here. Some of them, they are learning from us. They, they help us with, with uh, theoretic method methods, but practically they learn a lot from us. No, uh, instead of workers, they are not workers. You see, they are uh, soft people, they don't want to work hard. <laughs> <laughs> what you see in front of you is the field of good practices, which we consider a link between research and production. As we see, uh, we have uh, uh, our crop in the lines. Our farmers don't grow tomatoes in such a way. We have this technology of sticking. When we stick tomatoes, we avoid uh, direct contact uh, between fruits and the soils. Tomatoes cannot be affected by soil borne diseases. I set up trials here in Mwamba with uh, this promising material from AVRDC, uh, some materials from uh, Israel, mm. and other materials from Brazil. Almost six days after transplanting, uh, we, I started to collect samples from suspected plants, mm. and uh, these samples went to lab. I became interested in studying this disease, which is the tomato color stand virus. When I got into the, my master's program, uh, southern Mozambique is the place where this plant has most of its incidence in Mozambique. And as you can imagine, it causes difficulties, problems for farmers. For instance, we recommended that they produce their plants in places that are protected from the virus and from the white fly, the vector of the disease. We also recommended that they use uh, pesticides that are recommended, other diseases that are also recommended. Uh, to Roforum, let me first thank them for the opportunity they gave me. Without their funding, I wouldn't have done my studies. They made my dream come true. I would also like them to, if possible, to find my PhD uh, in, within the same area because this is a very important issue in my country. Ru Forum has really acted as a catalyst for change and the retention rate of local training is very high. Unlike in the past when we send our staff to Europe, some of them would not come back. But with this one, when, you are trained, when, when we train our staff locally, we find that they are able to stay and contribute. Uh, I would like to see Africa without the hunger. Yeah, that's it, my first 
without hunger uh, and uh, without war. Peaceful Africa with enough food for everybody.